There are two listening exercises. You must listen carefully. Then, answer the questions correctly. The most important thing is you must do the exercises honestly. I believe it will increase your listening skill. Josh, I'm really hungry now. Do you know a good restaurant we could go to? Yes, there's a really great chicken restaurant near my house. Chicken? Yeah, they have lots of different types of chicken. They have fried chicken, baked chicken, broiled chicken, and so on. Hmm, chicken. You know, I don't really like chicken that much. Do you know about somewhere else? Somewhere that doesn't have chicken or beef? Um, yes, there's a vegetarian restaurant near my house too, but Great. it's in the opposite direction. Okay, what kind of food do they have? They have lots of salads, fresh salads, and they also have some stir fry. Okay, and what's the restaurant like? The restaurant is really nice. It's pretty small. And there's not a lot of people, usually. Okay. Is it light or dark inside the restaurant? It's a little bit dark, but the food is really good. Okay. What about the tables? Do they have tablecloths or do they not have tablecloths? There's no tablecloths. Hmm. And the tables are a little bit low. What about the price of the food? Is it expensive or is it cheap? It's very cheap. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. For example,、mm -hmm. you can buy a salad for only five dollars. Wow, that is cheap. It is. Okay, what about a soup? A soup is usually six dollars, but、hmm. they're really good. Okay. Well, I have my car today, so is there parking at the restaurant? There's some parking, but there's actually a lot. Nearby. Okay, so no problem to park my car. It's no problem. Great, then let's go for vegetarian. Okay, sounds great. Listen again. Josh, I'm really hungry now. Do you know a good restaurant we could go to? Yes, there's a really great chicken restaurant near my house. Chicken? Yeah, they have lots of different types of chicken. They have fried chicken, baked chicken, broiled chicken, and so on. Hmm, chicken. You know, I don't really like chicken that much. Do you know about somewhere else? Somewhere that doesn't have chicken or beef? Um, yes, there's a vegetarian restaurant near my house too, but、Great. it's in the opposite direction. Okay, what kind of food do they have? They have lots of salads, fresh salads, and they also have some stir fry. Okay, and What's the restaurant like? 
the restaurant is really nice. It's pretty small, and there's not a lot of people usually. Okay, is it light or dark inside the restaurant? It's a little bit dark, but the food is really good. Okay, what about the tables? Do they have tablecloths or do they not have tablecloths? There's no tablecloths. Hmm. And the tables are a little bit low. What about the price of the food? Is it expensive or is it cheap? It's very cheap. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. For example,、mm-hmm. you can buy a salad for only five dollars. Wow, that is cheap. It is. Okay. What about a soup? A soup is usually six dollars, but、hmm. they're really good. Okay. Well, I have my car today. So, is there parking at the restaurant? There's some parking, but there's actually a lot nearby. Okay, so no problem to park my car. It's no problem. Great, then let's go for vegetarian. Okay, sounds great. You will hear the next topic. So, Jeremy, you you don't have a car now, but you had a car when you were younger. How do you find that? Well, I mean, the reason I don't have a car now is because of money. I I can't afford a car at this point. But it's been many years since I actually owned a car, and I've gotten really used to taking public transit. And you know, when you don't have a car for several years, you just get get used to it. And then I can sort of justify it to myself, saying, "Well, I'm doing my part for the environment. I'm not emitting all those all those emissions <laughs> into the atmosphere. So you know, this is my small small part for the world." But then, when I think about how I can't take a road trip up into the mountains, or go to the ocean, or just enjoy my freedom, or I can't have 15 minutes where I get to listen to my own music and sing along in the car, or just have that time to spend to myself. I really, really miss it.、Mm. Honestly, it.、Uh, some of my best times from my youth were actually just driving around with my friends, and I don't get that anymore. And even just to go out and you know pick something up from the supermarket on a rainy day. I don't have that convenience anymore. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world not having a car, but sometimes I really, really miss it.、Mm. What about you, Abby? I mean, I know you have transit, or you have transportation now. <laughs> How do you enjoy that? That's true. I think my story is the opposite of yours, actually, Jeremy. For the longest time, I did not have a car or transportation. All I had was my bike or walking、mm. everywhere. And although I enjoyed that. I envied my friends who had cars and could just take off at any moment,、mm-hmm. go wherever they wanted to. Now I have a scooter, and I absolutely love it.、Mm-hmm. I would prefer a car on some days. It's true on those rainy days or when it's really cold、mm-hmm. and I need、um, the heat of a car. But the convenience of having my scooter and the fact that it's so cheap,、yeah. I can go anywhere, anytime. I don't have to look for parking. Parking is free. I can leave it on the side of the road somewhere and find it there, and don't have to pay for parking or, yeah, I really enjoy that, and it just feels cooler.、Yeah. I think wherever I live, wherever I go now, I would even if I do buy a car someday, I would always want to have a scooter or a motorbike, because it's just something I don't know, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> As a scooter driver, though, do you ever feel intimidated by the cars on the road? I mean. Is it dangerous? Do you think driving a scooter? That is a very good question. It's true. When you talk about road rage, people be <laughs> road rage is one thing when it's car versus car.、Mm. 
But when you're on a scooter and you can't go as fast as the other drivers and they're behind you, right. although they're very polite sometimes, they don't honk, but you can feel them mm. coming behind you. So I try to drive as close to the edge as possible. At times, I've just had to pull over because I don't want you to hit me. Mm. I know you want to get to where you want to go and you're faster than me. So I just pull to the side, let the car pass, and just go my way. So it's true. It is safety. You have to be really safe and conscientious and you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. Sounds like you have the right attitude as a I try. Driver. I yeah. try. <laughs> I want to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Listen again. So, Jeremy, you you don't have a car now, but you had a car when you were younger. How do you find that? Well, I mean, the reason I don't have a car now is because of money. I I can't afford a car at this point. But it's been many years since I actually owned a car, and I've gotten really used to taking public transit and you know when you don't have a car for several years you just get get used to it and then i can sort of justify it to myself saying well i'm doing my part for the environment i'm not emitting all those all those emissions out into the <laughs> atmosphere so you know this is my small small part for the world but then when i think about how i can't take a road trip up into the mountains or go to the ocean or just enjoy my freedom or I can't have 15 minutes where I get to listen to my own music and sing along in the car or just have that time to spend to myself. I really, really miss it, mm. honestly. it uh, Some of my best times from my youth were actually just driving around with my friends. And I don't get that anymore. And even just to go out and you know pick something up from the supermarket on a rainy day, I don't have that convenience anymore. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world not having a car, but sometimes I really, really miss it. Mm. What about you, Abby? I mean, I know you have transit, or you have transportation now. <laughs> How do you enjoy that? That's true. I think my story is the opposite of yours, actually, Jeremy. For the longest time, I did not have a car or transportation. All I had was my bike or walking mm. everywhere. And although I enjoyed that, I envied my friends who had cars and could just take off at any moment, go wherever they wanted to. Now I have a scooter, and I absolutely love it. Mm. I would prefer a car on some days, it's true, on those rainy days or when it's really cold mm. and I need um, the heat of a car. But the um, convenience of having my scooter and the fact that it's so cheap, yeah. I can go anywhere, anytime. I don't have to look for parking. Parking is free. I can leave it on the side of the road somewhere and find it there and don't have to pay for parking or, mm. yeah, I really enjoy that. And it just feels cooler. Yeah. I think wherever I live, wherever I go now, I would, even if I do buy a car someday, I would always want to have a scooter or a motorbike because it's just something, I don't know, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> As a scooter driver though, do you ever feel intimidated by the cars on the road? I mean... Is it dangerous, do you think, driving a scooter? That is a very good question. It's true. When you talk about road rage, people be <laughs> Road rage is one thing when it's car versus car. Mm. But when you're on a scooter and you can't go as fast as the other drivers and they're behind you, right. although they're very polite sometimes, they don't honk, but you can feel them mm. coming behind you. So I try to drive as close to the edge as possible. At times, I've just had to pull over because I don't want you to hit me. Mm. I know you want to get to where you want to go and you're faster than me. So I just pull to the side, let the car pass, and just go my way. So it's true. It is safety. You have to be really safe and conscientious and you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. Sounds like you have the right attitude as a I try. Driver. I try. <laughs> I want to be safe. Yeah. <laughs>